This year has been a period of transition. The loss of a superintendent and principal in the same year is never easy for a school. But thankfully, we have had the privilege of having an experienced and open-minded interim principal, Mr. Michael Rooney. Mr. Rooney came in January and has exceptionally adjusted to our unique school. He has helped our class finish this year successfully and made it clear that he would do whatever he could to make our senior year as normal as possible. Mr. Rooney, on behalf of the senior class, I just wanted to say thank you very much for everything you have done this year and I would like to welcome you to the podium at this time. Thank you, Avery. I have had the privilege to serve as interim principal at this great school for the past six months. When I retired last August at the end of 30 years in public education, I certainly had no idea that I would be presiding over yet another senior awards night and graduation. Many people have asked me in the six months that I've been here, why would you do that? Why would you come back after retirement? To be honest with you, I've asked myself the same question a couple of times. But the the last couple of the last month, the last two weeks in particular, working with this group of, of seniors has really made the decision one that I don't regret at all. I have thoroughly enjoyed the time I've spent with the students at Hopkins and in particular this senior class. There's a long list of scholarships and awards that I have the privilege to announce tonight. The number of awards being given is testimony to the outstanding efforts of the senior class and support shown for the students of Hopkins Academy by the local community. I have, I have the enviable task of announcing the recipients of a number of awards, but all of the credit goes to a number of people who have worked behind the scenes to coordinate the presentation of the following awards and preparations for class night and the graduation ceremony. Class advisors, Marilyn Robert and Ruth Fitzgibbons, guidance director, Tori Gazillo, and Office Secretaries Deb O'Neill and Nancy Fogarty have all contributed to the enormous task of putting together the list of awards and scholarship winners. Anybody who has been in my position knows the value of having a committed and dedicated secretary to plan, organize, and supervise events like this. And Hopkins has one of the best in Mrs. O'Neill. All members of the Hopkins faculty participated in the debate, discussion, and ultimate approval of many of the awards and scholarships. Thanks also to the dedicated custodial crew under the leadership of Jeff Misch for setting up the gymnasium for this event and working hard to keep the school clean throughout my time here. I want to especially thank Alex Kasiak, head custodian, for the work he has done for the event and all of the time and energy he devoted to the Hadley District for 30 years. This marks his final Hopkins graduation as head custodian as he has recently retired. I also want to thank Beth Cook and Paula Bannock for their efforts in making sure that both the senior class and I knew how graduation was supposed to run. The beautiful floral arrangements that you see here tonight were provided by Mrs. Banish, Mrs. Smith, Mrs. Pierce, the West family, and Montgomery Rose. Thanks once again to TV5 and Mr. Truswell for sending the graduation live to all of Hadley. Thank you also to Mr. Serio for videotaping this evening's ceremony so that seniors and their families can have a video memory of tonight's activities. You will also notice that there will be a photographer taking the picture of each graduate as they receive their diploma. A copy of that picture will be emailed to each graduate, so please, if you can, refrain from rushing the stage to take pictures during the diploma presentations. This year's graduating class has continued the tradition of excellence that has been associated with Hadley schools in general and Hopkins Academy in particular. As everyone knows, this excellence was recently recognized by both Newsweek and US News and World Report magazines. And the class of 2013 has carried on that standard of excellence. From this year's graduating class of 41 students, 27 of them will be attending a four-year college next year. Nine of those students Nine of those 27 students will be attending Massachusetts public colleges and universities. The other 18 students will be attending private colleges or universities. Another 13 of this year's graduates will be attending Massachusetts two-year colleges. That is a total of 40 out of 41 graduates who will be continuing their education next year. And oh, by the way, the one remaining student is just taking a year off before she starts college. This year's graduates will be attending the following colleges or universities. Barnard College, 
Baypath College, Bridgewater State University, Bryant College, Clark University, Eastern University, Fairfield University, Greenfield Community College, Grinnell College, Holyoke Community College, Johnson and Wales College, King's College, McDaniel College, Mount Holyoke College, Sacred Heart College, St. Anselm's, St. Lawrence University, Smith College, Springfield Technical Community College, University of Massachusetts at Amherst, Ursinus College, Vaughan College, Wagner College, Western New England University, and Westfield State University. This year's class has 34 students who have earned a minimum grade point average of 3.0. These statistics compare favorably with recent graduating classes, a sign that the commitment to excellence is, <clears throat> it goes on. The seniors have all worked very hard to contribute to this ongoing legacy, and now they have reached the night when we recognize their accomplishments and with the following awards. With your programs tonight, you have been given a list of all of the scholarships and awards that will be presented. As each award is announced, you'll be able to read the description of the scholarship or award that has been provided. And now, on with the awards. <clears throat> the James P. Reed Athletic Award recipient is Sean Quill. The James Robert Ryan Prizes recipients are Allison LeClaire and David Ryman. The Emerson Prize is awarded to Katherine Tyler. The Mary McGrath O'Brien Debating Prize is given to Avery Klepacki. The Bridget A. Ryan Prizes are given to John Wilder and Lonnie Tebow. The Old Hadley Lions Club Agriculture Scholarship is given this year to Celeste Bollier. The Henry E. Ryan Arthur Ryan Award is given to Sidney Denault. The Hope Grange Youth Math Mathematics Prize is awarded to Katherine Tyler. <clears throat> the American Legion Scholarship recipient this year is Kayla Benjamin. Constance H. Higgins Alumni Prize is awarded to Michaela Mamat. The Florence M. Reed English Prize is given to Rebecca Smith. Rebecca is also the recipient of the Fannie G. Allen Award. The Faculty Award is presented to Michaela Momat. The Mary E. Kennedy Award is given to David Ryman.
David is also being given the Dwight History Prize. The Hadley Young Men's Club gives two Stanley Bannis Memorial Educational Aid Awards. This year's awards go to Kayla Benjamin and Ann Moselle. The Hadley Education Association Scholarship is being given this year to David Ryman. <clears throat> the John Philip Sousa Band Award recipients for this year are Catherine Tyler and Olivia Matthew. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is awarded to Olivia Matthew and Avery Klepacki. The Bud Neeland Award goes to Michaela Mamat. The Paul W. Brown Senior Baseball Award is given to Timothy Knightley. The Major Henry B. Zavosky Memorial Scholarship is given to Allison Butterfield. The George C. Hibbard Alumni Scholarship is awarded to Ileana Carrion. Each year, the Hadley's Mothers Club gives two prizes. This year's recipients are Kelsey Schumann and Marissa Giroux. The Burton P. Shores Memorial Prize this year is awarded to Sean Quill. The Allen N. Daniels Memorial Award is given this year to Allison LeClaire. <clears throat> the recipient of this year's Daniel M. Zagranik Memorial Math Prize is Amanda Olson. The Joseph and Mary Konezny Award is given to Olivia Matthew. <laughs> this year's recipient of the Marion Purdy Memorial Scholarship is Karis Lamberg.
The Coaches Award this year is given to Olivia Matthew. The National School Choral Award this year is given to two students, Avery Klopacki and Michaela Momot. The Hadley People and Interested in the Arts Award this year goes to Emma Hudgick. The Nellie A. and John W. Sikowski Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Avery Klopacki. The Barbara G. and John S. Byron Scholarship this year is awarded to Sydney Connor. The Nancy E. Malinowski Ergel Scholarship is awarded to Marissa Giroux. The Paul Klamoski Soccer Award, this year's recipient, Sean Quill. The John Misch Senior Memorial Scholarship Award this year goes to Cassidy Peterson. The May and Oscar Johnson Scholarship this year is awarded to Olivia Matthew. The Frank Koloski Memorial Scholarship is given this year to Avery Klopacki. The Joseph Michael Konezny Jr. Award this year is given to Sean Quill. Is there an intermission for these awards? <laughs> this is wonderful. Thing. The Joseph and Mary's the Turka Memorial Award this year is presented to Jonki Patel. The Margaret L. Kelly Memorial Scholarship is presented to David Ryman. The Lisa Marie Moskevitz Memorial Award is given to Laurel King. The Northampton Lodge number 997 Benevolent and Protective Order of the Elks is being awarded this year to Katherine Tyler. The Hampshire County Deputy Sheriff's Association recipient this year is Ann Moselle.
The Adolph and Mary Pipsinski Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Kayla Benjamin. The Peg Dion Memorial Scholarship this year is awarded to Michaela Momot and David Ryman. The Florence Savings Bank Scholarship this year is awarded to Satchel Texera McCarthy. The Edward S. Kozier Award is presented to Katie Keegan. The Golden Hawk Award in memory of Jerry Train Jr. is presented to Michaela Momot. The Eleanor Van Dorn Smith Memorial Scholarship is given to Sidney Denault. The Stanley and Stacia Cazera Memorial Scholarship this year is given to Anne Moselle. The Rotary Scholarship this year will be awarded to Michaela Momot. The Independent Order of Oddfellows Scholarship is given this year to Avery Klepacki. The Teddy Soldega Scholarship is awarded to Amanda Olson. This year's Peter Allen Jekinowski Memorial Scholarship goes to Sydney Denault. The Michael R. Graybeck Jr. Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Olivia Matthew, Michaela Momot, and Kayla Benjamin. Congratulations. The Barbara Konezny Memorial Scholarship this year is presented to Sydney Connor. The Christopher Delisle Scholarship is awarded to Cassidy Peterson. The Woody Herman Jazz Ensemble Award is presented to two students, Becky Smith and Michaela Momot. <laughs> this year's Tom Hannigan Scholarship recipient, Amanda Olson.
The Hampshire, Franklin, and Hamden Agricultural Society Scholarship is presented this year to Marissa Giroux. The Hampshire County College Fair Committee recipient this year is Avery Klepacki. The Chet By Junior Athletic Soccer Award this year is presented to Greg Hannum. The Chet By Senior Athletic Baseball Award this year's recipient, Ethan Winner. The Hopkins Academy Trustees Scholarship in memory of Norman C. Barstow Sr. this year is being given to Emma Hudgick. The Community Foundation this year is awarding the First National Bank of Amherst Centennial Educational Scholarship to Ann Moselle. The Hopkins Academy Sports Booster Club Athletic Awards this year are being presented to Amanda Olson and Nicholas Thoman. Quincy Jones Award this year is being presented to Katie Tyler. <clears throat> the following scholarships are being given for the first time this year, so I will be pre uh, reading a, a description of those scholarships for you. The Woolsey Scholarship. The Woolsey family recently had two of their children in Hopkins Academy, and then Mr. Woolsey was transferred. They left a scholarship for graduation because they felt that Hopkins Academy had left such an impression on their children and themselves. This year's recipient, Lonnie Thibault. The, oh, okay. No. The Jeffrey Vikowski Memorial Award is presented to Katherine Tyler. Change the order on me. The Sandra Walsh Kelly Memorial Scholarship this year is presented to Timothy Knightley. The Tom Kazenzi Memorial Scholarship is presented to Avery Klepacki. Now back to the new scholarships. The Constance Ann Najelski Memorial Scholarship. Established by her children in 2013, in her memory, she was a 1956 graduate of Hopkins Academy and was very involved in all aspects of Hopkins Academy, Hopkins Academy activities and in the community. These scholarships are given to graduating seniors to help cover future college expenses. This year's recipients of the Constance Ann Najelski Memorial Scholarship are Emma Hudgick, Amanda Olson, and David Ryman. Walter M. Pesiak Memorial Scholarship. In 2013, 
The family and friends established a scholarship in his memory, a local business owner and school bus driver for 31 years for the Hadley Public Schools. This scholarship is given to a graduating senior to help cover future college expenses. The recipient of this year's Walter M. Pesiak Memorial Scholarship, Karis Lemberg. The John J. Pipczynski Memorial Scholarship has been established by his family in honor of John in 2013, a former Hopkins Academy student athlete, coach, teacher, and principal. John will be remembered for his compassionate, ethical, and effective leadership and his genuine interest in the well-being of others. He represented Hopkins Academy with great pride. This scholarship will be awarded to the student athlete that embodies his simple philosophy that if you work hard at something, you can succeed. This year's recipient of the John J. Pipczynski Memorial Scholarship, Sean Quill. The Deborah J. Cozier Memorial Award. In, 20, in 2013, the Kosher family established the Deborah J. Kosher Memorial Scholarship Award in memory of their daughter, who lost her life at the age of 16. A scholarship award of $1,500 will be given annually to a male or female student athlete who ranks highest in their graduating class academically and who plays one sport. This year's recipient of the Je Deborah J. Kosier Memorial Scholarship, Michaela Momot. We would like to thank Mrs. Stanley Adams, the trustees, and the class of 1965 for the book recently purchased for the library in memory of Eddie M. Adams, who died at the age of 21 in Vietnam. The book purchase is entitled Contemporary America, 1970 to the Present, edited by Rodney B. Carlyle, published by Fax on File, and purchased as an ebook from Infobase Info Learning. We thank the trustees for everything they have done for the, for the scholarships about to be presented and for the unique and consistent support that they continue to provide to the students of Hopkins Academy.